Welcome to Horizon Maritime Academy, where we strive to provide comprehensive and engaging learning experiences for maritime enthusiasts and professionals alike. Today, we're embarking on a journey to unravel the complexities of ship stability. It's a topic that's not just fascinating, but also crucial to the safety and efficiency of maritime operations worldwide. Whether you're a seasoned mariner, a maritime student, or simply someone intrigued by the wonders of nautical science, this lecture series will provide you with valuable insights into the world of ship stability. So, get ready to dive deep into the concepts of ship horizontal stability, vessel stability, correcting the angle of lol, wind effect, and daily consumption's impact on ship stability. Let's set sail on this educational voyage, starting with understanding ship horizontal stability. Imagine a ship as a floating box. When the ship is upright, its center of gravity, G, and center of buoyancy, B, are vertically aligned. This is called the line of action. Now if the ship is tilted to one side, the center of buoyancy shifts to that side, creating an angle. This angle between the line of action and the vertical line through the new center of buoyancy, B1, is called the angle of heel. It's a critical factor in understanding ship stability. Now, let's talk about factors affecting horizontal stability. Weight distribution, hull shape, and load conditions play a significant role. For instance, if the weight is evenly distributed, the ship remains stable. However, if the weight is concentrated on one side, it can cause the ship to list or lean. Similarly, a wider hull provides more stability as it distributes the weight more broadly. Load conditions, such as the weight and placement of cargo, also impact stability. Understanding horizontal stability is crucial for safe and efficient ship operations. It's like walking on a tightrope. You have to maintain your balance to prevent falling. In the same way, a ship has to maintain its stability to prevent capsizing. A vessel is said to be stable if it returns to its original position after being tilted. This is due to the center of gravity, G, being below the metacenter, M. Now when a vessel has natural stability, it means that the center of gravity, G, and the metacenter, M, are at the same level. On the other hand, a vessel has negative stability when the center of gravity, G, is above the metacenter, M. Now let's talk about GM and GZ calculations. GM, metacentric height, is the distance between G and M. It's a measure of the initial static stability. GZ, writing arm, on the other hand, is the horizontal distance between the center of gravity and the center of buoyancy. It's a measure of the dynamic stability. Understanding these concepts is vital in maintaining a ship's stability and ensuring the safety of all aboard. Picture this, a ship that's upright but unstable, leaning to one side. This is what we call the angle of lol. It's when the ship has a negative metacentric height and takes on an angle of heel to one side. The key is in the weights. By shifting the weights in the ship, we can lower the center of gravity, G, and raise the metacenter, M. This will help to restore stability. Understanding and correcting the angle of lol is crucial for maintaining ship stability. Let's start with the wind effect. Imagine a strong gust of wind hitting the side of a ship with a small GM. The force of the wind can cause the ship to heel or lean, which affects the ship's stability. Now, let's move on to the ship's daily consumption. Ships use diesel for propulsion and generate fresh water for various onboard requirements. As these resources get consumed daily, it can alter the ship's weight distribution. If not properly managed, this can lead to instability. Understanding these factors and how to manage them is crucial for maintaining stability and ensuring a safe journey at sea.